as an author, it's hard for me to say this, but size is very tough to do in books, but there's something that's probably even worse, and that's sound. Sound is such a critical part of bird identification. One, if you know the sound, whether it be a song or a call, we can identify the bird. But if you don't know the sound, you can certainly go and look for the bird and hopefully find it and be able to identify it like that. So, how do you learn those sounds? Well, if you can't do it by books, and tapes frankly are also tough, there's only one magic way, and that's to go out, listen to a sound, try and watch it sing and learn it that way, I just follow that sound and work out what it is. It is even better today if you can work it out using a sonogram. A sonogram is like a, it's like a graph. It shows you when it's high pitched, when it's low pitched and just the intonation of the song. If you can learn to understand sonograms it will help you a lot. If you're a musician they tend to be the best. So the key is you need to listen like a musician. And if you do that, you can both enjoy the beauty of sound and become a much better birder.